<laughs> Hello. Welcome to uh, You Will Not Remain. It's been a while, so, uh, it's a Lovecraftian horror game. Never really played one before, so I don't know what I'm expecting. You Will Not Remain is a short game intended to be played in one sitting. There is no saving. Okay. How do I play? It's time to wake up. How do you wake up? Um. Gee, <laughs> if only I knew how to, how do I wake up, how do I wake up, wake up, <clears throat> wake up. Oh, spacebar. Again, how many more agains will you have? That's a weird question. How long have you been here? Does it matter? The leaves are drooping. You should water it. You fill the water can and take it into the plant. You soak it, you soak the base, hoping it's enough. Not too much at the same time. You've never been good with plants, and sometimes trying too hard is what kills them. <coughs> <laughs> Sounds like me. Channel after channel, nothing. So again. It's very relatable. You still have plenty of grounds. An, inst an instant when you're desperate. You haven't even gone through all of the apartments on this floor. Making it, such a, making it such a ritual as it is comfort. You cradle the cup in your hands, warm, seeping into your fingertips. It grows cold as you stare at the sink, the ceiling, the strange shapes your hands make around porcelain. You pour it down the sink, wash the cup before putting it away. Maybe tomorrow will be easier. Is that anything that weird? <coughs> Nothing. Is there anything this way? Okay, I thought that was a door. That's, uh... It's getting bigger. Was it always that size? If you are prone to the poetry, you'd almost say it was beautiful in a fatalistic sort of way. But you're not. I have been for some time. You've run out of pr pretty metaphors for awful things. <laughs> so, uh, what do I do? Okay. There's not much else to do. You could walk circles around the apartment, or you could go back to bed. Bark, bark. Is that a dog? Impossible. It's been weeks since you've been stuck here. You have ne you would have surely heard it before this. 
That's that's weird. You better go see what it is, just in case. Come on, open the door. You know you can. Can't you? It's probably one of those things where it sounds like a dog when it's not a dog. You can do this, come on. Like saying the words will help. Just do it. Just open the door. It's wrong. Everything is wrong. You don't belong here. You need to get back inside. It's only down the hall. You could do this. <laughs> Nothing like eyes on doors to make a house a home. There's something wrong with this apartment. Is that a dog? Wow. I mean, to be fair, it's got like a leaf for a tail. But it doesn't look like any dog you've seen before. It's thin, skin stretched tight across the ribs. Long body, all bones and hard angles. Hey, it's okay about you to hurt you. <laughs> That's right, everything is okay. Do you want to come with me? Is that a yes? Am I gonna die here? The dog jumps forward before you could react. Brace for pain and instead feel the drag of its tongue across your chin and its pants happen. It pants halfway as it tries to lick you every inch of your face. I misread that for like a split second, and I thought this was going to go down a very down dark high hole. <laughs> I can't speak ever. I'm also a little bit quiet because I have my fiance, and I don't really want to disturb her in the other room. <laughs> It drops it all fours, looking obediently up at you, tongue lolling out of its, out of a mouth, dis bis bisected by wickedly sharp teeth. It's this way, I guess. About this, what is this? Nothing? Closet? You're glad to leave, something is wrong here. A new kind of emptiness. No bed, no chairs, no life. How did the dog even get here? When the two of you leave, it'll be like nothing has ever been here at all. Dog follows you at your heels, no sniffing furiously at the air. Just a little further. I go in this way, back to my bed. Dog runs down, runs in ahead of you, tail wagging so hard, makes a loud thump when it slaps the wall. Glad to see you like it. <coughs> this is enough excitement for one day. It's time to get go to sleep. Arf. Bed. I guess you're sleeping with me. You peel back the covers and slide in the bed. Dog feels... Dog is a warm, sprawling mass above you, content to be pushed around as you make it yourself com... As you make yourself comfortable. When you've settled into the sheets, it lays its head across your neck, warm metallic breath, lulling you to sleep. And in the morning, you'll be ripped apart because you ripped your face off. <laughs> or the dog just turned into a fog. You're dreaming again. You remember being worried about her. 
You remember waiting anxiously at the door. You remember how the apartment still smelt of her for weeks, the sweetness of her perfume lingering in the sheets. They don't smell like her anymore. <coughs> Just a second. Radio static. No. St he stay. No. You can't do this again. You don't think about it. It's like it never happened. Stay inside. Please. No. Okay, I'm up. It's certainly one way to wait you know, up. You can't complain though. Not when it saves you from... Right. You have a dog now. A very strange looking dog. Water the plant. Has it gotten bigger? It's not dead. Maybe that means something. You make coffee, just like every other morning. You cradle the cup in your hands, staring at the walls and the cage of your fingers around the cup until the liquid cools. Just like every other morning. Plus, we a boring morning. <laughs> boring life, even with a giant alien outside. But this time, something is different. The dog is here looking more at home than you've ever felt. The coffee is cold, but you drink it anyway. Bitter all the way down. That's why I don't drink coffee. <coughs> Too bitter. Are you hungry? You're lucky we don't have any neighbors. <laughs> Where did you even get food? Can I? You get it water, then fill the bowl with what's in the fridge, patience, 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 sausages, and double toasted bread. You hope it's good enough. You set it down the lunges desperately towards the food. I also managed to fix the, um, weird black borders on my screen, so hopefully you won't see that in post. It's eating so fast you could barely see it chew. <laughs> it's gross. Better not throw that up. Well, you fed the dog. May as well feed yourself. You cook with them. whatever you can find. Thankful for the electric stove top. You eat it from. You eat it from the pan, standing over the stove. No one's here to judge you. You've already fed the dog. What do they want? Bark, bark. Wine. You want to leave? Okay, you're the boss. Uh, I want to see this first. Yeah. I don't see many things changed. <coughs> Apart from, you know, Azathoth sitting an entire city. It's easier to manage the terror that climbs up your spine when the dog is so happy to be, out to be outside. Where are we going? Hold your horses. We need to get a leash. We've never been up here. The Eldritch spawn that sits beyond us. You're worried if you stare too long, you might fall in. <laughs> the dog stares at you, imploring, and for a moment its eyes flash violet. Now you're imagining things, it's just a dog. Throw the ball, message received. You 
can almost ignore the lilac glow when you're playing fetch. Forget, um, forget for a moment that vast otherworldly thing stretching through the sky. Dog doesn't seem worried about it. Maybe it's because it's part of it. You think? What time is it? Adventure time. Noon, evening, probably midday. At least one of them. Maybe even all of them. <laughs> I think that's enough for one day. We can come back tomorrow. Um, I also don't know how to get down. Okay. Someone's in a rush. Weirdly wholesome for a Lovecraftian game. Didn't take you long to figure out home. Dog looks proud of itself. Okay then. You're so tired. When was the last time your lungs tasted fresh air? Can't remember. I'm sorry, I think that's all I have for today. I guess this is my life now. <laughs> you crawl under the covers. You still haven't washed them. Not since the dog lays on top of you. Heavier than expected, seeing as it's skin and bone <coughs> cuddles into you, knife, long teeth, a whisper from your throat, you could feel its heartbeat through the blanket, the gentle expanding of its chest beneath your hand. Another dream. You wish this was over. Stay inside. If you don't let them in, they can't get inside. Silence, no sound, no thought. Type in her number to your phone. You th know it off by heart. The sound of the buttons are a familiar melody. It rings out. You try again and again and again. Nothing. Miles and miles of nothing. Maybe she's fine. You try to convince yourself. Don't let anyone in. That isn't already inside. She. She has to be inside. Maybe already downstairs. Just in time. Just in time. Hey, I'm up. Bork. <sighs> when you touch the soil, it's bone dry. It seems like I always thirsty. A need so deep it could be sl couldn't be slaked by an ocean. You know, you used to know something about need. Now you won't. Let yourself remember what it means to need anything, let alone want it. How's the big amorphous mass of flesh in the city? Okay, it's fine. <coughs> I hope you guys can hear me okay too, because I did get a new mic. First things first, coffee, you make it, hold it with cup, liquid tools. Look down on it, foreign in your unfamiliar hands, you pour it down the sink. You win some, you lose some. What? <laughs> Here you go. Munch, munch, munch. You're slowly getting used to living with the dog. How long has it been now? Can't remember. You should probably name them. What am I going to name this bony dog? What's your name? Can't keep calling them dog after all. Bark. It's very helpful. How about Rex? Wine. 
uh, marble, wine, marble sink, wine, <laughs> gas stove, <laughs> wine, okay, shank, lamb shank, lamb shank, really? My dog's name is Lamb Shank. All right, you're the boss. Newly named Lamb Shank looks absurdly pleased with himself. <coughs> we. I can't run. Am I wearing a mask? Nothing has changed, obviously. The amorphous blob in the sky. Cthulhu's fucking weird ass brother. It's here. Don't think about it. Now we're gonna play some fetch. There you go, boy. Good boy. How long has it been since you became stuck here? Someone could tell you that it's been weeks, months, or years, and you'd believe them. It's not like you could see the sun anymore. Did it eat the sun? Sometimes you forget what other people look like. The way their skin feels, how the muscles in the back shift when you hold them. Just the thought of touching someone makes your skin crawl. You feel claustrophobic and desperate at the same time. Wrong. I feel gross just reading that. <laughs> That's enough. Time to go back. Bark. Bark. There's a pot. You should eat something. But maybe you shouldn't. You only ate five minutes ago, right? Or was it five days? Do you think you should eat? I should eat. Okay, good call. Cook meals of whatever you can find and eat it before the stove top. Eat it over the stove top. Here we go again. You and Lamb Shank are used to this dance by now. You settle in together and drift into sleep. There we go. You, you'd do anything to wake up. But that isn't how this works. Don't look at the sky. The sky, what's wrong with the sky? What could possibly happen to the sky? Gee, I don't know. The eldritch nightmare that's out there right now. That's... It's... How? It hurts to look at. It's wrong. Not made for this world. But somehow captivating all at the same time. But why? Maybe you're imagining things. You must... You must be. This isn't real. This can't be real. A fever dream, surely. If you go back inside, the world will return to normal. It has to. She'll come home, and everything will be the way it always was. Psst. This is your public service announcement. The voice is robotic, clinical, and detached while the world forever changes. Do not let anyone in that comes from outside for the safety of yourself and others we repeat do not let anyone in from outside no our homes are safe as long as we are in them do not let anyone in that returns from the outside we repeat people from the outside are displaying signs <coughs> signs of what actually Earth. 
predictable. You take care of the plant. You don't feel like you're there when you water it. Your hands are unfamiliar. Your body unfamiliar. Your mind alien. Your mind alien even after all this time. I might have misread that. You used to go to bed excited for your morning coffee. No, I didn't. <laughs> That was just another thing you do. Used to wonder when the power would turn off. You don't wonder about much of anything anymore. It's time to leave. Feed lamb shank. You fill up the food bowl. Munch, munch. Howl. Lampshank likes it on the balcony. You don't. Something about him shifts under the lilac sky, pushing it to be free. He looks hungrier out there, more alien. I misread that. I had a difficult time reading. Lampshank has decided it's time for fetch. Did I? Was that bone always there? Matter of fact, was that oh, a plant? Is nature reclaiming as the eldritch god stands in the city? Bark. Fetch. I'm gonna accidentally throw it off the cliff. Sometimes you think about going outside and being done with it all. Finished. But you have lamb shank now. You know, it kind of reminds me of Yumi Nikki. I might play that. You won't talk. You won't walk down the stairs in pride. The boarded doors open, fingernails catching on wood and nails as you claw yourself out. No, you'll stay here. <coughs> For however long that is. Time to go, lame shank. Bark. This is just the same old. Time for bed. Yep. That's weird. You could hear something. The radio. Hello? What? Is anyone there? No. You're imagining things. It's not possible. It can't be. Wine. Hey, it's okay. I'm okay. Are you? Lamb Shank's eyes are wide, body trembling above you. Scared. You've never seen him like this before. Did the radio frighten him? Everything feels so fuzzy. You pet Lamb Shank, running fingers down his spine, each vertebrae sharp against them. You're so tired. What should you do? This is your public service announcement. The people from outside are marked. They can only get in if you let them in. You cannot stress this enough. Do not let her in. She will hurt you. Wait, what? Well, doomsday. Please let me in. She's here. She's safe. She's... Do not let them in. They will hurt you. Please, babe, let me in. I'm scared. We repeat, they will hurt you. You're at the door, unable to open it, heart beating so hard, you can taste blood in the back of your throat. Ugh. You want to let her in, you do, but nothing feels real. Everything feels real. You try to move to open the door, but your body isn't responding. It's like watching someone else. Like you're no longer there. Like you're watching yourself like someone else would watch you. Babe, please, I'm so scared. So, are you? 
White noise. White. You don't think you could let her in if you wanted to. Not safe. The screaming starts. You're brittle and this is what breaks you. I'm up, Lampshank, I'm up. <coughs> is anything real? <sighs> I love Lovecraft stuff. It's always eldritchy and cosmic horrors. Water the plant just in case. Everything surreal is um coffee. Coffee? That's weird. Is anything real? Real or not, you need to feed Lang Shank. For some reason the coffee, I'm not able to get the coffee. Filled up the food bowl. Yada yada yada. Can I get my coffee? Apparently not. Is there anything real? What about the coffee? Is it bugged? <coughs> Maybe I have to see the uh, how. Is there anything real? That's a weird noise. Bark. Maybe it's glitched. Maybe that little cup of coffee is kind of glitched. Bark. We... Down we go again. To play fetch. <coughs> we. I feel like one of these days I'm just gonna throw it over. If this is real, does it mean anything? What's worse? That this isn't real? Or that it is, and it means nothing at all? You can't even remember what she looked like. How she smelt. You can't. Recall how she fit into those spaces. These spaces. Um. <sighs> this game's so linear, but so repetitive. <laughs> Not a chance. Oh, okay. We're not eating. You pull back the covers, get into bed. You're already half asleep. Attention, citizens. Attention, citizens. The city has fallen. That's enough, lamp shank. In the coming months, we will be evacuating any remaining survivors. Lampshank, we might be able to leave. Make sure to keep your radio on to receive pickup coordinates. Animals have been... Lampshank, what's wrong? Lampshank looks nervously around the room, flinches at the sound of the radio. We will tell you when it's safe to leave. It's okay, let's go to bed. Everything is going to be okay, is what they all say. Get out of the covers. For the first time, Lampshake doesn't join you. <coughs> well, anything but this. Well, it's time. You can't, you can't open it. Turn your back against the door and slide down until your pile on the floor. We repeat, do not let anyone in. The screaming continues. On and on and sub, sub, 
Time passes and stops and starts. The radio cracking in and out of life. It's her scream softening. Please, it's getting weaker as days stretch into each other. Two weeks later, the radio goes quiet. So does she. Are you alone? White noise. Nothing but the ringing in your head. Somehow silence is worse than screaming. <coughs> you wake slowly. You're used to lampshake acting as an alarm. All wagging tail and doggy kisses. He's across the room staring at the balcony door. At the sky above. Your dreams always return to her. Though each time the memory is fuzzier, worn by time. Was she even marked? You'll never know. You are the plant. Something burns in your chest, but you choke it out. Without you, the plant would die. Can I have coffee? No, you can't. Your stomach keeps turning up. Over and over, like something is trying to escape alive. You leave it. A cup strangely alone when you fill the, to the brim. You fill the bowl, but Lamshank doesn't come running. He ignores you. We're leaving today. Remember, citizens, we have cleared the way. Pick up the. The pickup zone is... It's time to go. You'll never see this place again. Is that a good thing? What does leaving this place mean? What does the world look like outside these walls, outside the city? You still belong out there. <coughs> People and their soft skin, soft hands, soft hearts. Will they now be alien to you as the sky? There it is, the door. Come on, Lemshig. There's a time where slowly, one by one, people left. There were no boards then. Just closed door with a world outside growing further and further away. You didn't see them often, the few that remained with you. But you could hear them, humans sound that hummed in the background when you least expected. You pulled down one of the boards. Hush. The noise has been comforting. You weren't alone. They didn't last forever. Time faded into nothing. They must have left, taking their chances in the city falling around them. Anything better than staying here, being inside, trapped like a rat in a cage, every day played out again and again until... Pulled down a second board. And... Lampshank, that's enough. You've never yelled at Lamshank before. Shame blooms deep in the pit of your stomach. But you can't look at him. No, you see the fear and desperation in his eyes. You'll never leave. You pull down the final board. The beginning and end. You think you'd been the one to put them there. A reminder to never leave as the city's siren song promised an escape. You lay your hands on the door, palms against the cool, thick wood. He's trembling uncontrollably. Eyes darting around the room so fast they roll to the back of his head. You pull a key from your pocket, fit into the lock, turn the handle. Lampshake lashes forward, closing teeth in your sleeve with a vicious yank. He pulls you backwards, away from the door. Fuck. Lampshake. Lampshake, what's going on? Every inch of his stretching skin looks like it's ready to fight. 
Lips peel back from inch to inch, teeth and saliva drips from the maw gaping, impossibly open, wide enough to swallow someone whole. Bark, bark, lamb shank. Knock, knock. No. Knock, knock, knock. It can't. But... Oh, jeez. I don't know what I should do. Amy? Inside. You're inside again. What's happened? Lambshake runs to his abandoned food, the leftovers of leftovers that you served to still there, silent. Did it get you too? Did everyone else hear the radio? Follow its lure into the door. Lambshake happily devours the food, ghostly tongues scraping the... Thank you, Lambshake. Wait a minute. Hold your horses. One C. Nothing. You're not sure what you expected. Can you just go back to this in between life of fetch and half consumed coffee? Is it really that easy? Nothing tonight, or maybe tomorrow, or maybe a week from now. You'll throw the radio from the rooftop. Lampshake was right to be afraid. Park. Park. <laughs> You've gotten used to the violet light beating down from above. The creature seems satisfied. If such a thing is possible. It's not roiling in the clouds, instead breathing slowly around the tips of the skyscrapers. The longest, softest breath you've ever felt vibrate through your bones. Is this it? <laughs> Is this everything? Is this where you must remain? Existential fetch. <laughs> Robert Michael Gary <laughs> Playtesters, special thanks to Oh, that was an interesting small little story. It only took like forty five minutes. This game was made in the land. Isolation contains dark themes and deals with mental health issues. Well, that was the game. I hope you all enjoyed it. And, uh, as always, I'll see you in the next episode of whatever the fuck I make next. <laughs>